is we're going to the bee farm to get some organic wholesome honey. Yum, yum, honey fresh from the farm. Just my taste. But, 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 I don't want to be stung by the bees. Yeah, me either. Won't there be tons of bees all over the place? No, no, the bees are kept in a special beehive. I mean, there'll be some bees around, but as long as you don't bother them, they won't sting you. Hello, welcome to the bee farm. Hello, we would like some fresh honey, please. And also a special tour for the little ones. Perfect, you're just in time. We have the freshest of honey. And of course, I would love to give a tour to the little ones. Oh, I, I want to see the tour, but I'm scared of the bees. And also, why are you dressed that way? I understand that will be a concern for a lot of people. But don't worry, bee stings are not that common here. As long as you don't bother them, they won't bother you. And I'm the beekeeper. I wear this special suit to keep from getting stung. Since I'm getting into the bees' territory and they can become a little defensive. Over their honey, of course. Oh yeah, they work very hard on that honey. Well, that makes sense. Um, I also have a question. Sure, ask away. Every beekeeper I see has a white suit. Why are your suits white? That is an excellent question. And the answer is pretty simple. The darker the color, the more attractive it is to bees. You see, bees instinctively are drawn toward darker colors, especially when they are aggressive and looking for a target to attack. Which can happen because we're definitely in their homes and taking their honey and they work so hard on that honey like your father said. Wow, so you get stung all the time? Only sometimes. These special gloves protect my hands and the special suit protects my body and I have a netted hat to protect my head and face. But sometimes bee stings do get through. A lot of times to prevent bee stings, I use a smoker. A smoker? What is that? Oh, it's right over here. And it's a key tool that helps us beekeepers stay safe and helps the bees stay safe. Wow, the kids are learning a lot today, including me. Yes, me too. So how exactly does the smoke help? Well, when bees get upset, they'll produce what's called an alarm pheromone. And when other bees smell that, they get upset. The sense of smell is one of the main ways that bees communicate. So smoking bee colonies also makes bees less likely to sting because they go into survival mode. When bees smell smoke in the colony, it makes them think that the hive is going to catch fire. So their natural reaction is to try and save the honey as much as they can. If the hive is going to melt, they're going to need to make a new one. So when the smoke enters the hive, the bees begin storing up as much honey in their bodies as possible in preparation to build a new hive. Once their bodies are full, they're less likely to sting. Does the smoke hurt the bees? No, no, the smoke doesn't hurt the bees. The disruption caused by the smoke is temporary and it gives me about 10 to 20 minutes to do my work without getting stung. Once the smoke disappears, the bees recover their natural pheromone activity. Whoa, that is cool. <laughs> oh, and I see that delicious honey you have out there in the little bear bottles. Yep, that's my fresh batch for today. I'll ring you up for those. So, do you guys want to see what the honeycomb looks like? Ooh, I think that sounds like fun. They would love to see the honeycomb. Yeah, when I was little, I used to love eating honey right off the comb. I want to see the honeycomb. Yeah, what does it look like? Well, now is the perfect time to use the smoke because we don't want any bee stings. So, the honeycomb is right over here and it's removable, so I'll take it out for you guys. And here it is. It's where all the delicious honey is stored. Oh, mommy, mommy, mommy. I think somebody wants his honey back. Oh, it seems we've got a curious little bee. Just don't move. She's not allergic to bee stings, is she? It's okay, honey. Calm down. It's okay. She's going to get a bee sting. Ah, don't say that. I don't want a bee sting. Ow. It hurts so much. Ow. 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 Mommy. Mommy, it hurts. There, there now, my sweet little girl. There, there. It's going to go right away. When I was little, I got bee stings too. Ow, ow, ow. Did it hurt this much? Oh, honey, it's okay. It'll get better. Here, let me get the bee sting out. I'm sorry, little one. That was not meant to happen. Sometimes their behaviors can be unpredictable. Whoa, that sting looks gnarly. I'm glad I didn't get stung. Sorry, Queen Bee. I know. I have just the thing to make it feel better. I have some of these, and here's one more for your brother. You guys are excellent sports, and I really did enjoy having you here at the farm. Oh, I'll take it. 
thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. Looks like somebody's getting a new pet, and two of them to be exact. It looks like we've got some LOL Surprise Series for our spy pets. But before we get into those, let's take a look at the Queen Bee family. We have the beautiful Mrs. Queen Bee. She's the queen, so she's got a crown and some really pretty gold curly curly hair with a whole bunch of glittery sparkles in there. At least now we know where Queen Bee gets her gold gold pretty glittery hair from. Her mommy's got a really pretty gold necklace, a gold and black striped top, just like Queen Bee's original outfit. She's also got a really cool plated gold and black skirt. Here is our cute little Queen Bee. She is our glitter series Queen Bee. And Queen Bee's dad has the same really cool glittery hair. Being glittertastically gold runs in the family. He's also got a really cool jacket that has the same black and gold stripes. And underneath his jacket, he has a shirt saying, I'll be back. He's also got some gold shorts on with some really cool boots. Oh yeah, and let's not forget Mrs. Queen Bee's shoes. She's got some really cool gold shoes. Here goes Queen Bee's brother. They look like twins. Queen Bee's brother has a really cool mohawk. He's got brown eyes just like his sister and a glittery gold and black jacket just like his dad. A gold shirt wrapped around his waist and some shorts plus some black and yellow boots. So the Queen Bee family is a custom DIY project that I made and it was so, so much fun fun. So now without further ado, let's get inside our LOL Surprise Pet Balls. So here is our secret message. We're going to need our decoder for this. And we have one right over here. What does that say? It's a rock and a star. So rock star. Pop the ball open. We've got our decoder, our litter box. And here goes our first blind bag. We've got some silver headphones. Next bag up. Oh, we also got a silver and pink water bottle. And what is this? Oh, it's our little kitty cat pooper scooper. It's also silver. So who is our pet? Oh, whoa, is this Funky Cutie's pet? It looks like a little tiger plus a leopard. So is this a liger? Yep, from the rock club, it's Funky Cat. She's a funky cat, so let's get her headphones on. She looks so cute. Plus, we're missing one more accessory, and that's gonna be in her litter box. I wonder if it's gonna be some shoes. And we've got some cool looking pink sand. We're gonna use our pooper scooper to start digging. Oh, I see something. Oh, she gets little wrist cuffs. And now, let's see what her water surprise is. Let's dunk her in the water. So what does Funky Cat do? She's a tinkler! Oh no, she's getting tinkle everywhere! Oh no, I love my kitty cat, but she's a tinkle. Well, it's my turn now, let's see what I get. And here's his secret message. Whoa, okay, I think I see it already without the decoder. It's a crown and a bee. So the secret message is Queen Bee. Or in this case, it could even be King Bee. Yeah, make it King Bee because I'm king. And we've got a blue ball for King Bee. So inside here, let's see what we find. Whoa, we've got a crown and a blue, looks like a little skunk pooper scooper. I think I know who we've got. If you guys know already, leave it in the comment section because we've gotten this little pet before. So let's get her on out. And it's Miss Punk's little skunk. I think her name is Miss Skunk. No, I got a skunk. <laughs> That's what you get for making fun of my beast team. I did not make fun of your beast thing. Did too. Did not. Did too. All right, all right, kiddo. Settle down, settle down. There's no need to start bickering. Your mother's right. There's no need to fuss over a small little matter. Skunks can be cute too, as long as you don't scare them. Because you know what happens once a skunk gets scared. Yep, we definitely don't want that. It's a very stinky surprise. Miss Skunk's got one more surprise. Let's get in here and dig it out. She's got green sand, and let's get out her surprise. Dig, dig, dig. 
It's her Miss Skunk Beauty Pageant sash, and it says her name on it, too. Aw, oh, there she is. Let's get her little crown on. She's ready to steal the show. So let's see what she does. Miss Skunk is a spitter. Oh, she wants my honey. Nice with her skunky. Don't get scared with her skunky. Well, it's the end of our show. Poor little Queen Bee did get stung by a bee, but that shouldn't take away from her experience of going to the bee farm and meeting a beekeeper and learning all about bees. Plus, she's even got a little funky cat out of the whole thing. Yeah, and I got a skunk. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting our Queen Bee family. They are bee royalty. If you did, be sure to give the video a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. Until next time, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.